think uh, the beginning was was nearly classic, although the breeze was a little bit more uh, already to the yeah, to the southeast in the beginning part. So that made the first part of the race really fast, I think, for everybody. But then we knew that new weather system was coming in, uh, which is not classical at all here in the Caribbean. Even uh, the people who support us on the shore with, with weather routing, they, they, they didn't expect to, to see that kind of conditions either. But uh, yeah, then what, what you see is what you got and you have to deal with it. So I think with this and any offshore race, what we're always looking for is uh, some really great competition. And, um, and we had that with, with Wizard. So we had a really, really good uh, race with them. And our boats are quite different. You know, they're ours is a bit, bit molded, but differently. So they should be, you know, pretty strong, just upwind, downwind. And we should be stronger reaching. And, uh, but we are rating higher. So we knew that we had to get away from them and stretch away. Well, you know, you get this sort of this rubber band thing going where uh, the guy in front of you sails into a lighter breeze and then you catch up and then they get the breeze and sail away. So you're, you're doing this all of the time. So yeah, it gets really uh, exciting, of course, when they get bigger and, and, you, and you catch up to them. Ran had slipped away from us. Um, up around uh, St. Kitts actually the first night and we were playing catch up to them the whole rest of the race. And they came in on us a lot at the end and because we, th we thought we had them tucked away uh, to be honest and we thought that's good and then um, but on the last bit you know um, they really came into us and it became a nail biter. Goes to the level of uh, the high, high level of competition here that you can race for almost three days and it comes down to three minutes you know, hats off to them. Very fast boat, very good crew. Um, and uh, it was uh, really good for us to have that rabbit to chase, if you will. Uh, we learned a lot about our boat. But, you know, but then it's also kind of you step ashore and it's like you think about it a little bit. It's like, did we sail as good as we could? You know, did we do too many stupid mistakes? Did we have a good time, right? And then I said, yes, we did have a great time. <laughs> And we don't think we did many mistakes. We felt really good about the way we were sailing. And, and then, of course, there's a bit of clouds going on. And then sometimes you're on the right side of them and sometimes on the wrong side of them. But that's also part of the sport. I mean, there's so many things right, that can happen. And, uh, you know, Caribbean 600 is one of the best offshore races. If we could race again tomorrow, we probably would. That's how good this race is. Mm -hmm.